Matty, just another hard working win tonight. Uh, just explain what went into this one. Yeah, uh, I think as a team, we. Uh, we knew what to expect with the Stars. It's kind of a similar game to Winnipeg, maybe a little bit more speed. And they, uh, you know, they came hard at times during the game, but we stuck with it and we found a way to go get the, the win here and in their building and start this road trip on the right way. Such an unusual occurrence in the second period with two overturned goals and it looked like it was right as they were coming. How much of an impact? Obviously, it had a huge impact taking the goals off, but just in terms of the, mo the, the momentum of the game at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we got some breaks there. I think uh, both were the right calls to overturn it, but um, yeah. You know, Lars said it best between the periods. He said, uh, you make your own breaks because we were actually playing a pretty good game. They were just pushing back at that point. So, uh, you know, like I said, we, we stuck with it and, you know, we took advantage of our breaks here and, and uh, made it work. And your line creates the big goals for the night. Uh, just what was working with that line again? Maybe just hard work again? Yeah, I think we're, I mean, we've been playing together for the, most of the year, you know, apart from injuries or illnesses. So our chemistry is right up there and we know, you know, how we got to play to be successful. and what we can bring to this team and you know every time we contribute uh, you know we're I'd say that's not a primary role but we want to do it as much as everyone else so it definitely feels good to contribute in more than one way uh, you know on the defensive side but also on the offensive side of uh, the puck. Would you say you guys are playing with a, a bit of a chip on your shoulder at this point in the season confidence and just kind of wanting to prove? Yeah well we, we got to grow as a team right we got a young team and obviously this season we've we've had some really bad bounces with injuries and guys that are out of the lineup and you know, we're all just trying to take uh, advantage of the oppor opportunity here for us, and uh, you know, it's we got we got a ton of stuff to prove. So every game is important for us, uh, even at this point. I mean, uh, you, you go through the teams: Toronto, Winnipeg, uh, Dallas, mm -hmm. uh, Washington before the break in Jersey. These are all like top teams in the league. How much does that add to the motivation? You know, in, in what you guys are trying to do right now? Yeah, yeah exactly. And we're we're not in the position to take anyone lightly. Um, I think, uh, but these are top teams, and you know, they're on top of their divisions. Are pretty much near it. So uh, we always have to bring our A game, and I think lately we've been doing a good job of that. Let's, uh, let's start with your goal and how important that was, first of all, for the team, but what it meant to you. Uh, yeah, that was a big goal to get us started there, get us up one nothing, And uh, we played a few good games in a row there, so to get up the lead early, that was uh, big for us. And then, obviously, it's been a while, so score one of those, get the monkey out the back, felt good. To get that lead early in the first period against this team and then know they were going to push in the second, it, it helped to have a little bit of a buffer there going into the second, right? Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you're playing any team, but especially one of the top teams in the standings, uh, getting up early and having a bit of a, a lead helps for sure going uh, throughout the rest of the game. What kind of impact did it have when those two goals were overturned? I mean, the obvious is that they were taken off the board, but it seemed like it kind of stemmed the tide a little bit as well. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you get a couple of goals disallowed, it's obviously big for the other team. So having that and getting those reversed in our favor was massive for us. How about for you, Liam? I mean, just the goal itself. There's been a lot of hard work that you've been putting in every shift out there, and, and it finally pays off. Is that a big sigh of relief for you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said before, I felt like I was playing some pretty good games lately, and our line was playing well, and, and the team, we were having some close games lately and uh, winning some. So uh, obviously getting that goal is big for my uh, self-confidence as well. How, how nice was this game for your line? Because there have been some games here recently where it's been shortened to three lines in the third period, and you guys have been the odd man out a couple of times. And here tonight, there you're on there very late in the third period. I mean, you just kept getting a chance to go and get regular shifts. How important is that for you guys? Uh, yeah, that's huge for our line. Uh, we, uh, we enjoy that a lot. It's better than when we're usually sitting around. So going out there and uh, being involved in the game, late in the game, it, uh, everybody wants to be part of that and help win hockey games. So that was, uh, that was a fun game for our line tonight. And when we always talk about a process and learning and, and getting results, I mean, that's really part of it for you guys, so you growing through that adversity and, and getting a chance to play like you did today. Uh, yeah, it definitely helps our line grow, especially against a top team like that tonight and being able to go out there late with the lead and um, play with confidence and uh, do what we did, and um, it was big for our team. What's it, uh, you know, when you go through something like that where you, you just want to score your first goal, I mean, it's got to be tough. Is it a point where you just have to put it to the back of your mind uh, all the time, or is it something that kind of weighs on you? Uh, to be honest, I thought I did a pretty good job of it. I would put it to the back of my mind and really think about it. Um, it was just hockey going out there. I knew it was going to come eventually. Um, so going out there, I just felt confident in my game lately, and uh, for it to go in, finally, it felt good. What did that feel like, seeing the puck in the back of the net? <laughs> uh, like I said, it felt it was a good yeah. feeling. Yeah, just relief. Really... Yeah. Great game. What kind of lift did having those two goals overturned give you? It helps, obviously, you know. Uh, you know, the uh, media guys, the coach made good decisions there, and uh, 
Um, I'm sure we got some energy from it. And it looked like at that time Dallas was really pushing, and it seemed to stem their tide and, and give you guys a chance to kind of get back on your on your on your game as well. Yeah, um, we got we got back right into it after those couple overturned goals and uh, uh, just took off there. How good are you feeling these last two three games? Is this the best you've seen the puck all year in a good year for you? I feel normal. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, just trying to play my game. Uh, played good before and uh, just, you know, trying to give my all. Is it, is it something that, like, when you get into a, a good stretch or a hot streak, that it, you can feel it kind of carrying over from one game to the next? Yeah, I mean, you, you work hard in practice and you work hard every day, you know, uh, good things happen. So, um, you know, games, you know, some games you put in a little bit more than usually, but, um, you know, it just comes from daily work, I guess. Was that a challenging first period, and did that help you kind of get into this one? Or? They got a couple, couple of good looks, but um, uh, we, we, like I said, we played a really good game. Corby, to take it another direction, just the confidence in that defensive six that's playing in front of you right now because they've all picked up their game. And is there just, uh, whereas before when there was more inexperience, you might be looking for, you know, they might make a mistake. We're now, they're not making nearly the mistakes they were making earlier in the year. Yeah, uh, we play simple. I, I think that's one of the key things here. We play simple and uh, Everyone's on the same page, and uh, obviously, you know, winning games and playing playing well here for the last five, six games feeds, feeds confidence, so it's all of those things. It kind of looked like you uh, you came out determined to kind of dictate the, play, the pace of play and, and dictate your game early on in this game. How important was the way you started this game tonight? Yeah, that was a solid first. You know, especially the first 10 minutes, I thought we did a really good job. Um, you know, it's nice to, uh, to get the first one. but. It's a good game. They had about a 10 minute stretch here, and, and obviously, we got the offside call and then uh, the goal interference call, which, which helped. Um, but yeah, uh, what I liked really about the game is when they came, the last 10 minutes of the second period, how we played, we, we got the momentum back on our side, which was uh, which I thought was real important one of the third. Corby has stolen something for you, especially first period mm -hmm. against Winnipeg the other yeah. night. Tonight, it looked like he was getting a lot more support from his team. How important was that aspect of it? Yeah, I, I, I thought five-man units. I mean, it was it – was, uh, we, we did a real good job in front of him tonight. He made some big saves in there, no question. Uh, you know, uh, there's one that comes across there that comes in mind on the glove save there in the first period. But he was – He's been playing like this all year. This isn't this isn't anything new. You know, it's, we're, we keep talking about it for a reason. This is it's a good thing that we're talking about for all the right reasons. And, and you know, it's just another solid performance by him. The Corrali line kind of personify things for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, ho hum, right? They just come out and do it again. And uh, I, I think just since the break, they've they've been one of the best lines for me. And just the minutes they've been getting, but they, they've earned every bit of it. Uh, the, the, who they're playing against every night, the responsibility. Uh, they're physical. They play with an edge. They play a simple game. You know, and I'd love to see those guys get rewarded uh, on the score sheet. And uh, you know, I think uh, Ollie might have had three points tonight. Yes. Not sure if he's ever had one of those in the NHL. And, and uh, so good for him. Good for their line. Dan Singleton get the Kepi. Yeah. Well, Kenny made the offside call right away. He was on the on the ear set there, and then uh, the goalie interference. Uh, it looked like a pretty easy call to me, but you just never know. Um, but yeah, we uh, we got fortunate for that. We talked this morning about the importance of reps and, and just kind of being together for power play. Does that also hold true for, for forward lines? You know, those guys have been together pretty much all, all season. Yeah, you, you start to string together some good games. You can you keep some lines together. Um, you know, even the power play, we, we didn't score, but probably should have scored. You made, you made a pretty good save there. We had a couple of good looks, and, and uh, you know, March, you, you couldn't believe you made that save. So. Um, Good to see that, that they still were dangerous and, and they didn't lose any momentum for us. But the lines, yeah, like I like the Jenner line. I thought three lines were going to the other line. I kind of lost a little bit, the cylinder line, but the other three were going pretty good for me tonight. Uh, a couple of guys this morning talked about just the, kind of the positivity around this team right now and also maybe coming out of the break and just uh, maybe uh, playing with a little bit of a chip on the shoulder even a little bit with some confidence. Um, how... how how tough is that when you're going through a season like this one to, to have a stretch like you're in right now? Well, you know, it, it gets redundant. We keep talking about yeah. the same thing. It's been a challenging year, no question. But, you know, for us as coaches to watch them get results, you know, when, when you put the work in, and, you know, when it started back in 
you know, I thought Washington before the break, it was a heck of an effort, even though we don't get the win. And then, you know, the, the first Toronto game, the first half of that game, we fought at the second game, played really hard. We got the result. That was an important game for me because we you pour a lot of effort in those. If you don't get the result, it's kind of a deflator. And we've kind of just kind of built off that. Uh, and we've played some really good hockey teams here in the last stretch here. So hopefully you keep it rolling.